Surely nobody wants the letter L emblazoned on their rear end. Well, apparently Fiat doesn't mind. It's created this car, a supersized version of the 500, and called it the 500L. Fiat is cashing in on the popularity of the little 500 by creating a whole family of cars with this name. The theory's sensible. Young 500 driver gets hitched, starts a family and needs a bigger car. Instead of nipping down to their local Citroen garage, they can stick with Fiat and upsize instead. And to take a swipe at the Mini Countryman, Fiat is also offering the 500L as a mild off-road model called the Trekking. At launch, four engines are offered, two diesels and two petrols, and none of them can be called punchy. Not even this one, the 1.6, 104 brake horsepower diesel. Added to that, the 500L does have rather unresponsive handling. It's a bit wallowy in corners, and the ride does feel a bit bouncy. So the overall verdict on this front is that it's pretty poor in comparison with the Ford B-Max and the Mini Countryman. So, has Fiat produced a decent family car? Well, the 500L isn't actually a 500 at all. Underneath that bulbous bodywork is the platform from the forthcoming Punto. And that's great news, because it's much taller, wider and longer than you might think. And that's helped to ensure it's got a hugely practical interior. These large, wide-opening doors make it really easy to get in and out. And once you're inside, there's acres of space. And we reckon there's enough headroom in here and in the back for a team of basketball players. Visibility is great out of the tall windows. And the rear bench is higher, giving children a better view. And if you want to give your little ones a challenge, why not see if they can find all 22 of the cubby holes that are dotted around the cabin? Boot space is among the best in class. We measured it at 320 litres up to the window line, and that was with a space saver spare wheel fitted. This variable boot floor is really handy. Set it to the highest position, and you can slide heavy items straight in. One advantage of these low powered engines is that the 500L is actually really good on fuel economy. If you go for this range top and trekking version, you get City Safety Assist as standard. The 500L does look pricey against budget alternatives like the C3 Picasso, but starting prices are about £1,600 less than the cheapest Mini Countryman. Generally, Fiat is one of the worst brands for reliability in the annual Witch Car Survey, but there are exceptions to this. Find out more by clicking the link below. So, if you've outgrown your 500, should you go for a 500L? If you want a family car with really good performance and handling that makes you grin, go and see a Ford dealer. But if the things you value most are practicality and style, head to a Fiat dealer and tell them to make it a large one. Find out more about the 500L and its rivals, the Mini Countryman and Ford B-Max, in our comprehensive online reviews.